Hello all, welcome to Aura Trainings. In this session, we'll discuss about Oracle Apex, Application Express. So this is one of the interesting UI from Oracle, uh, which is gaining popularity from past one and a half year or two years, I can say. Like a uh, lot number of features are provided in this and also like uh, it is faster to development and the larger number of tools or components which are provided in this one and also for a developer to learn it it is very pretty much very much easy i can say so let's have a overview of this apex before we get into the deeper understanding of this one so like oh exactly what is apex and when this was started and you know like we just try to understand the background of it so apex was started in 2004 so it's around 15 years now and it went it started with html db like a designing the html pages using the database technology and later on it went with a different technological architecture it's called application express 2.1 which was released in 2006 and the latest version it is 19.0 which was released in 2019 so like uh, with latest inventions from oracle lot number of features are getting added up and the important thing about apex is it's just a browser based tool considering database as a backend and it just works with only Oracle database and it has good number of features like, you know, web service features, browser based IDE and lot number of UI components like a drag and drop components, all the major UI components which are available in this one. So like uh, as a developer, right? Like uh, what is a prerequisite or what are the things you have to install? Is it a free or, or a paid version? So there are a lot number of things available from this one. So first basic thing is, you can have an on-premise version of Apex or you can have a cloud version of Apex. Okay. So if you want to use Apex on on-premise, you have to have Oracle database and also you have to install the Apex related schemas in your system. So I provided the links for this, like a uh, first option is on-premise option. If you want to have an Apex running on your system, you require to install Oracle database and also you have to you have to install the Apex related schema and uh, their links are provided. And the other option is on the cloud, there are two ways which are provided. One is using Oracle cloud account. Another one is using apex.oracle.com account. Okay. So here, if you observe, like uh, once you navigate to apex.oracle.com website, it provides an option like a sign in or get started for free. So once you click on get started for free, like I'm repeating here, once you click on get started for free, it provides three options. Like uh, just now I was telling you, right? Like uh, one is here, if you observe, get an always free service in Oracle cloud. So this requires your cloud.oracle.com account. So generally like uh, using cloud.oracle.com account, Oracle provides 30 day free trial for larger number of PaaS services as well as database services as well as IaaS also. Nothing but IaaS, PaaS. These are the two things which Oracle provides free for 30 days. And also for especially for database, it is free always, right? Like uh, in recent open world, it was announced by Larry that database, you have an option like uh, you can enable an option that, you know, like your database account free always you have an option that and other option is rather than having a cloud.oracle.com account you know like what you can do is the easiest option is go with apex.oracle.com workspace right so you have an option like I simply just click on just sign up for free and using apex.oracle account you can have a, a simple free trial like uh, it also has a kind of a uh, kind of a what you say validity period but this is to start with this is one of the very easier one okay so go with apex.oracle.com and go with this particular option rather than going with a cloud account or on-premise if you have an on-premise yeah that is well and good also okay so here i have provided set of uh, what is the navigation for this one right like uh, how do we request a workspace using apex.oracle so we have an option called request a free workspace you just need to mention your login credit your like uh, user details like username, password, and you know, like email addresses and your workspace name. So this workspace name, so what exactly it is doing is it just provides a workspace. In that particular workspace, you can create all your Apex related components. Okay, so we just need to provide some set of information so that Oracle approves your request. Generally, it gets approved within a couple of seconds or minutes, I can say. So for me, I just got approved in five minutes, okay? So I, we just need to provide like, I'll just, explain you again so the first step is you have to provide username password uh, username first name last name and email and a workspace and here just go with yes as we are doing uh, this particular session for learning or a training purpose and the next one is justification like uh, why do you want to this why do you want to uh, why do you want this service just mention what is the requirement understanding learning exploring or training whatever it is and then agreement you have to accept obviously and here if you observe the confirmation it clearly tells you what is a workspace name 
these are the things which you have to remember because like once you want to log in right let us say once your workspace was created if you want to log in it you have to provide your username password sorry username and your email and workspace name all these things okay that's why you have to remember this like uh, it provides an option called uh, like a workspace created once click on once you perform this submit request button then you'll be receiving an email here if you observe i just received an email and it provides what is workspace username and environment here right so you just need to click on this environment and you just need to click on create workspace so initially for the first time it takes good amount of like uh, maybe a couple of seconds it just you know like here if you see right request a workspace creating a workspace it gets created in a couple of seconds once this is done you just need to click on continue to sign in screen and here you have to mention your email address and first time you have to reset your password okay and once it is done so this is a landing page in which you have to design as a developer right so here if you observe there are four things app builder a skill workshop team development as well as app gallery so team development app gallery will just ignore for now so the first two things we'll try to understand app builder the name says app builder nothing but application builder using which we can design our applications so what do you mean by application so in a simple terms applications are nothing but you can create ui components it can be a page or it can be a report okay using app builder we can do that so sql workshop using sql workshop you can create your database components it can be table or database pl sql objects okay so here i provide a navigation so to start with as a developer what you can do is click on create like in the app builder click on create okay so now once you click on create yeah so okay we'll just explore this app builder and the sql workshop so in the app builder here, here if you observe we have information or the components or functionalities relating to app builder like you can create a workspace you can import a workspace you can see the, like if you click on a dashboard it tells you what are the list of applications which are available in the workspace it tells you the basic set of configuration information using which you can configure it coming to sql workshops all the database related information like uh, here if you see the last one right restful web services so you can expose any of your database object as a restful web services using cordis the com the concept which was available in oracle from recent from recent past five years i guess okay so object browser list all the database objects sql commands sql scripts you can execute your sql scripts right so these all things you can explore in the sql workshop now so let's start with like how do you design a component right so the easiest thing always in any programming language we always start with hello world app okay because that's the first thing and the easiest one to start with click on create application mention your application name so go with the default nothing to change at this point of time simply create an application okay once application is created and just run it okay so you'll have a a run button you just need to click on it okay once your application is run this is how it sh just shows so in this there is no business functionality as such but we just want to see how an application works and then create a page so application is a high level component in which you can have a n number of components like a ui component it can be a page or a report or a form lot number of things are there we'll explore those things in the coming sessions so now we just created an app let's create a page in this particular app so if you see in the app builder okay so when you click on app builder it shows what is the application which is available earlier there was no application at all now it shows an application select the application and then once you select the application it shows you a different set of options like a run application supporting objects and other things simply cr click on create page you'll be navigating to this particular page so here it provides large number of options but at this point of time we just want to just have a simple page running without any business functionality mention the page name go with the default and simply run the page and here if you observe like uh, once you click on page so this it shows by default like uh, some set of components in the page generally when you observe any of the page always it will have a header footer body left margin right margin and the lot number of other things will be there so in this one here if you observe what i have done is i just provided a particular component in this particular region right so contain the in the content body region i just dragged and dropped a particular graphical component it's called text area okay I just dragged and drop and clicked on this particular arrow mark run button. So once you click on run, so this is how it looks like. Okay. So this is how this is how we can design a very simple application. So now if you just click on app builder, now just click on app builder, select the app. So it shows four pages which are available. Generally, like whenever you create an application by default, Oracle Apex provides three pages. 
and here the second one right the number two this allowable page which we created but other things like a global desktop home this all login page these were these were created by default it all depends upon the settings what you mention in the apex okay so this is very simple information on the apex but in the coming session we'll have a appropriate demos on this particular ui tool which is very easier to learn which is predominantly getting accepted by larger number of clients because of the functionalities and features it is having okay thank you